Now, as a parent coming to the deer camp with my nine-year-old, of course, my first concern is safety. Now, we're here with Ben Brock, who's going to tell us a little bit about the safety procedures that they follow here at Last Chance Hunting Club. Because if folks, uh, even if it's a member, if they don't follow the safety procedures, they can't come to the club, right? Correct. That's right. Okay. Now, the first part, um, y'all meet early in the morning, and you decide who goes to which stand, right? Right. We do that, but let me take it a little step further back okay. before that. When the kids get here on Friday, we take them out to the range and we let them get familiar with their guns and stuff. We let them shoot, let them make sure that they can actually go out in the field and, and know that the gun that they're using and know how to use it and make sure that they're sighted in. And uh, that's the first step we do on a Friday evening when the kids right. get here. To make sure they're not afraid of it. Right, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, get familiar with it. Then the next morning what we do is we all get together, we have a little meeting, and we pick our stand so everybody knows where everybody's at. And we, we have a log book where we put the, uh, the names down, who the parents are or whoever's bringing what kid hunting, and we just go from there with it. Yeah, and everybody keeps in touch by cell phone and all Correct. of that. And also, once a group has gone to a particular stand, they stay there until the morning or the afternoon hunt is over, right? right? Well, we have a 9 o'clock rule where everybody stays on their stands until 9 o'clock. And, of course, uh, we also require everybody to wear their hunter orange, which is state law in the state of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they keep it on whether they're in a box stand, a ladder stand, or if they're sitting on the ground in a ground blind or something like that. But everybody knows where everybody's at and nobody makes a move till at least nine o'clock is when they start coming out. Right, and that's uh, for two purposes. First of all, you don't want to scare off somebody else's deer, right? right? And also, um, you don't want children who are in a stand to hear movement and think it's a deer. Right. So they everybody stays put until nine o'clock and then they all come back in and everybody cooks a big old breakfast, right? right? <laughs> okay. Now we actually had one deer come in this morning and I've seen coming here over the years that it's usually the afternoon hunt that's a better hunt right and this year it's actually a lot warmer too it is it's really warm last weekend we were down uh, in the high 30s and then of course this week uh, this morning it was like 55 degrees today it's supposed to get up to 82 so that might slow the deer down just a little bit on movement, but uh, I think we're going to have a pretty good afternoon. I think so, too, and everybody just loves coming out here. I love how the kids are so enthusiastic. There is not one kid here who has been dragged to this camp, that's for no, sure. Exactly. They, mm -hmm. they love to come up here every year, and that's one thing about this. Uh, we're, we're teaching the kids, number one, about safety. We're getting them interested in hunting. I mean, it's because uh, the hunting is... We know where our kids are when they're out here with us, mm -hmm. you know? and uh, but uh, it, it's it's just a fantastic thing. And we dedicate this whole weekend to nothing but the kids. They they're the kings and queens around here. That's right. It's the kids, the parents, the grandparents. Everybody's one big family here. We're all over there cooking and having a good time, and then everybody celebrates whenever any of the kids brings back anything. That's you know, right. <laughs> it's all, right. it's so much fun. Now we're going to get back to the kids over there who are cooking. And remember, the parents are supervising all cooking activities over there because we don't want anybody hurt here at Last Chance. Mr. Ronnie's taught you a lot about hunting. And Ronnie, there's so much more to this camp than just show up and kill a deer. Y'all work all year round to make this place a good place to hunt. It is that. It's 12, month, 12 months out of the year we're doing something at the camp. Because once hunting season's over with, you know, deer season ends last January, then we've got three or four weeks there left rabbit and squirrel then turkey season opens up then turkey season closes down and from that till first of september we're up here every other weekend or so doing something we maintaining the roads cutting firewood cleaning up stands building stands just it never ends it's and always been something to, the to camp do here too the kitchen and everything this year here we added on the front section of the camp there we built the fireplace and put some TVs inside where when we all get together on Saturday night, we can watch the LSU ball game and sit around the campfire and we're out of the 